Hey guys, it's, it's me Dave. It's uh, 1020, 2022, so it's Thursday night. Uh, tomorrow's Friday already. Um, somebody left a comment saying, asking if I had a colonoscopy. Um, no, I haven't. Um, I haven't. Um, if I went back to the doctor, that would probably be the next step. But I know it's these guys doing it. Um, they have complete control over our nervous system. Um, they can let your balls loose. <laughs> Um, anytime they want, and they can make you pee anytime they want, they can make you not pee. Uh, when I was in the treatment center, they did drug, drug tests, um, in there, and, um, in order to leave for the day, um, you had to do a drug test. Um, well, there were all perps in there, so nobody did drugs, you know, well, maybe they did, maybe those guys do do drugs, I have no idea. But I don't do drugs, you know, so, um, uh, they were making it so I couldn't pee, I couldn't pee at all, uh, they were, they were making my bladder so I couldn't pee at all, um, all day long, so I didn't get to leave that day, you know, I had, I had plans, I was gonna go to my mom's house and chill out and all this stuff and visit my dogs and everything else and, and, uh, um, they made it so I couldn't pee, so I couldn't do the drug test. Uh, until later, later, way later on in the day, I was drinking, I drank a month, I must have drank a half a gallon or a gallon of water, uh, trying to pee, you know, and then finally they let me pee in the cup and did a drug test. Well, they probably didn't even send it in for real, you know, there's, you know, it, it's, it's a game, you know, it's a game of, uh, bull crap, you know, so, um, yeah, so if I went back to the doctor, she'd be like, oh, you should probably send me to a specialist and have me have a colonoscopy and all this stuff. And, and uh, you know, and, and they're not going to find anything wrong with me. Um, the only thing is, the last time they found a trace of an infection, um, a trace of an infection, um, it... it it, from what I've read and research I've done online, it probably would have cleared up on its own. You probably didn't even need medication. So what they're doing is they're saying, oh, that was that was why you were having diarrhea for the last five, six months, you know, because of this little trace of an infection. You know, um, the research I've done, um, they're like, yeah, that clears up on its own, you know, and stuff. So they're using that as an, as an excuse. Um, you know, because, you know, you run to the bathroom ten times a day. You know, I didn't do it today. Um, I didn't even go today at all, you know. So, um, they can do that, you know. Um, they can mess up your, your um, I don't know what you call it, anatomy or your natural feelings or whatever. They can mess it up. You know, they they can mess it up. They they mess up your 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 sexual feelings. They they mess it up. They manipulate your sexual feelings and 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 uh, you know, I mean, guys wake up with the, with an erection. That's normal for the guys wake up to, for an ere you know to have an erection. You know, I mean, you know they can mess it up so you, your your thing don't work at all. You know, and then they'll they'll make it work. They'll, you get an erection when they give you an erection. You know. They make you go to the bathroom when they when they make you go to the bathroom. You know, I mean it's, I mean they have complete control over our bodies and our nervous system with these weapons, and, and they can they can make you throw up, and they can do all kinds of things with these weapons. It, it really is unbelievable, and they can mimic mimic me mental illness. They can mimic COVID. Um, they gave me um, uh, mimic uh, co COVID before. Um, I thought I had COVID for sure. Um, they were giving me all the symptoms and all the stuff. I went up and had a COVID test, and, and it was negative, um, you know, and stuff. And, and it was just a big waste of time, you know. And, and they will do that because it's a big waste of time. They will, they, they, they will cause trauma, you know. I don't know if it's all trauma. But it's all just a bunch of BS in your life. I guess it is trauma. You know, all the time, you know, they will cause all this work for you that's unnecessary, you know. I mean, you know, you go to the doctor, or you go somewhere, and they have perps there, and they, 
you know, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, uh, you know, this doesn't work, uh, you know, and it's it's just, everything is a big headache when, you, when you're a TI, everything is a big headache, you know, you know, this doesn't work, oh, we, we have to go to a, you know, a different place, or we, we have to, you know, you're blah, 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 you know what I mean, it, it's just, it's a big headache being a TI, um, they make you run around, um, go to different places, you know, they, they will have things taken off the shelf, they will do that too, uh, they'll have things taken off the shelf, so you have to go to a different store, and all this stuff, and you'll be running around to two or three different stores looking for orange soda or something, you know, um, it's really unbelievable, um, you know, but they, they do it, and they, they spend the manpower, and they spend the time to make your life miserable, and, and it's trauma, you know, I guess it's trauma, you know, it's, it's a bunch of BS is what it is, you know, so they make you work 10 times harder than a regular person, you know, and stuff, um, you know, that's what they do, you know, but, uh, other than that, not much going on today. It was kind of a boring day. I took my relative for a ride in her truck um, and uh, went for a ride a little around town a little bit and then, um, uh, you know, spent time with the dogs, fed the dogs and all this stuff. Um, Tanner is so smart. My collie is so smart. He's so smart. I feel like he's being neglected. Uh, you know, I feel like he's... You know, he's a T.I. Uh, he is a T.I. Uh, all these dogs are T.I.s uh, with us, going through this with us. But Tanner is so smart that um, I think I, you know, if I had the energy and I wasn't going through this, I could teach him so many tricks and teach him um, dog training and all this stuff. Um, you know, he's so smart that I gave him a begging strip tonight and and I haven't ha I haven't made him shake forever I mean he hasn't he hasn't shook hands forever and uh, I gave him a treat that made him sit he sat right down and I'm like shake shake Tanner shake and he knew he knew he remembered he remembered how to shake and all this stuff he's so smart that he should be challenged, um, almost have a job, you know, you, they say some dogs you should give a job, you should put a backpack on them and take them for a walk and, and, uh, give them a job and all this stuff, and he's so smart that he's being neglected because I'm being, I'm, I'm just, I have no energy, you know, the last, this week I have had no energy at all, you guys, um, I have to run around tomorrow and do some errands and stuff like that. Um, I took Tanner out for a walk today and stuff, but, uh, you know, it, it's just, I have no energy to do anything, no ambition to do anything. They they can cause that in us. And then you're up two or three times a night, you know, and then you're tired all day. And, and then, you know, the the medication that you're on, I'm only on one milligram of Risperdone, but, you know, it does make you tired. It makes you tired. It makes you lazy, you know, and stuff. It's easy to sit in front of a TV and just kind of forget everything, you know. But your dogs um, need to be challenged. They need to go for walks. They need to be fed and all this stuff. And, and i kind of been lacking in that in that situation and, and stuff. But i got to work with Tanner. Um, he's just so smart that he just... He, he just, he needs something to stimu stimulate his mind a little bit. We need to start working on some tricks and, and do a little dog training and stuff like that, you know. But um, other than that, I'll tell you one more thing. So I went upstairs to shave, and um, of course I didn't have my hat on. Um, so I, m I mentioned this before. I even did a video on it um, a couple years ago. Um, but, um, they hurt my head really bad, you guys. They hurt my head really bad. Um, they dented my temples in. I have marks that go like this. Like that. I don't know what they used, but they used some kind of directed energy weapon or something. It, 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 this whole part is crushed in like that. It goes like this. Like that. On both sides of my head. 
both sides of my head are, are crushed in from these weapons. And then, um, I know some people don't believe they have lasers or whatever, but they do have lasers. They took a laser to my head and chewed up, chewed it up like this, chewed up my whole head up here. You know, like it, like somebody took a pen, took a pen and went like this, and went like this. And my whole forehead is chewed up from these guys. Um, it just, you know, is it really necessary to, to destroy and disfigure my forehead and and stuff? Um, it's just, it's unbelievable what they what they have done to me. Um, it, it's just, it's unbelievable what these people have done to me, you know, um, I wonder if these people are still alive, I really do, um, I wonder if they're still around, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are gone now, they can't bring them back, and all this stuff, um, I wonder if they're still alive, uh, you know, or if they're next, or where are they, are they in jail, are they in prison, or where are they, you know, because they destroyed me, I mean, they destroyed me, they destroyed my body. You know, I mean, they, I mean, they, I haven't seen any, any TIs that have physical injuries like that. Um, I tried showing them on camera before, and they don't show up that good. But, uh, you know, I'll try some other day uh, to show you guys that. But they destroyed my forehead. Um, you know, they destroyed it. it. It's almost like they took something like this, that big, and pressed it into my forehead and it's crushed in, and you can see the marks. It goes like this. It's almost like a rectangle. It's all crushed in. And then he took a laser and went like this to my head. You know, it's unbelievable. I wish I could. I wish it'd show up on camera because it's unbelievable what they've done to me. You know, I have physical injuries, and how can they say that I'm not being hit with these weapons when I have physical injuries like that? You know, they destroyed my forehead. And I have to look at that every time I shave. Every time I shave my face or, or my head or I look in the mirror or whatever, I have to look at that every single day. And I'm thinking, that bastard destroyed me. You know, he destroyed my forehead. You know, just evil. These guys are evil as hell, you guys. They're killers. They're murderers. And that's what they are. They have no conscience. And they're murderers. And they're whatever drug they're on. They, they causes them. They have no conscience. Maybe they're just pure crazy psychopaths that are ready to lose their mind but I guarantee you they're not walking away from this they're not walking away from this they're not gonna be let go you know they're not gonna let these people walk around society and stuff they're not gonna let that happen you know they're gonna be next and that that guarantee that they're gonna be next and I guarantee that they're not walking away from this the government is not gonna let them walk away from this so that's one positive thing for us uh Anyway, so I suppose I'll cut this off, you guys. Um, not much going on. I'm just sitting here watching YouTube videos and stuff. I'm going to go to bed here in a little bit. And um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.